unbelievable marvels of human innovation. Here are the 15 most impressive mega construction projects. Number 15. Stad Ship Tunnel When you think of tunnels, you usually imagine them being constructed for trains or cars to pass through. But have you ever heard of a tunnel that's been built specifically for the use of ships? That's what's currently being built in Norway, which will not only become an attraction in its own right, but a valuable route that will allow ships to avoid the harsh conditions of the Stadhavet Sea. Beginning in Selje and leading through the landscape to Molefjord, the one-mile-long tunnel will be 160 feet tall and 118 feet wide. The intent is for between 70 and 120 large ships to be able to use it each day. And it'll be such an unusual sight that a bridge is being built over the south end to allow crowds to watch vessels enter. While this may seem like an unnecessary project, the idea of building a tunnel here has been talked about for more than a century. The nearby sea is so treacherous that ships do all they can to avoid it. And in the time of the Vikings, they chose to lift their boats out of the water and carry them over land instead of taking their chances and sailing across the start of it. Number 14 the South to North Water Transfer Project. China covers such a large area that the conditions in one part of the country vary dramatically from those elsewhere, and this has led to the development of one of the largest engineering ventures in the history of humankind. Known as the South to North Water Transfer Project, it aims to transport 12 trillion gallons of water each year from the Yangtze River in southern China to the arid regions of the North. Successfully doing this will allow the regeneration of the area and open up vast swaths of land for farming and industrial purposes, as well as solving huge water shortages that affects millions of people. Of course, doing something like this is no easy proposition, and it was decided that the best way was to construct three canal systems, two of which have already been completed. The eastern route, which opened in 2013, has already transported more than a trillion gallons of water to the north and the central route, which opened in 2014, has delivered more than six times as much. 120 million people in 40 cities now rely solely on water that's been brought up from the south, and this will only increase with the eventual completion of the western route. It's not been without its controversy, though, as almost a half million people had to be resettled to make it possible. But the health and lives of so many more have been so substantially improved that this cost is generally seen as having been well worth it. Number 13. Hudson Yards, New York The Hudson Yards is one of the largest real estate developments currently being built in the U.S., and once it's finished, will provide a huge amount of residential and commercial space over a 28-acre site. Incredibly, 13 of the planned structures won't be built directly on solid ground, but on top of a platform that's being constructed over West Side Yard, which is a storage facility for Long Island Railroad trains. And this element itself is something that's only been feasible due to technological developments in the past two decades. The first of the two phases of the $25 billion project was opened in 2019 and included eight large structures that contain a hotel, residential units, offices, and a mall. And now the early stages of the second phase have begun which will see the addition of further residential and office buildings, and even a school. The site has long been earmarked for development and was part of the pitch to host the Olympic Games in New York in 2012. Funding and regulation hurdles have for a long time been difficult to overcome, but now, but now, with this project well underway and planned to be complete by 2024, it's proof that New York is one of the most ambitious and forward-thinking cities in the world. Number 12. Bagamoyo Port With its coastline on the Indian Ocean, Tanzania is perfectly placed on oceanic trade routes around the world. And to capitalize on this, the government has embarked upon one of the African continent's most ambitious construction projects, the New Bagamoyo Port. The $10 billion development began in 2018 and covers an area of 800 hectares along with a further 1,700 hectares that have been set aside for a special economic zone. It's being funded as a three-way project between Tanzania, China, and Oman, and is designed to alleviate pressure from other ports and become the main hub on the eastern coast of Africa. The plan is for the economic zone to attract businesses from more than 700 different industries, which will make it one of the most important strategic investment zones in Africa. Completing a project like this is a timely pursuit, and it's hoped that the port will be able to handle 20 million containers per year by 2045. As it enters operation, though, this number is expected to significantly rise over the following decade, meaning the country has put itself firmly at the center of regional trade well into the second half of this century. Number 11. 
the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. There's no doubt that the only way we learn more about the intrinsic nature of the universe in ways never possible before is by designing and building incredible machines. But the more you hear about the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, the more you realize what an unbelievably ambitious project it actually is. Located in saint paul le durance in France, it's a combined project that's being led by the European Union in conjunction with India, Japan, China, Russia, South Korea, and the US. Construction began in 2013, and with an estimated cost of more than $25 billion, it's expected to be complete by 2025. When it opens, it'll become the largest nuclear fusion research facility in the world, with the intent to show that it's possible to create more power from the fusion process than is used to start it, something that's not yet been possible to achieve. Essentially, the experiment will be looking to create a miniature sun, and if it works, it'll lead to the development of power stations that are many magnitudes more efficient than anything that's currently used. As with every experiment like this, there are concerns about the design and whether it'll be able to achieve what it's setting out to do, but those overseeing the mega project are confident that it's being done as safely as possible and will generate a wealth of scientific data for years to come. Number 10. Dubai Land. First announced in 2003, Dubai Land has been billed as the world's largest entertainment complex. With an estimated cost of $64.3 billion, the plan was for everything to be complete and open within 10 years, but due to funding issues, progress has been incredibly slow. Covering a total area of 107 square miles, if it ever is finished, it'll easily be the biggest collection of theme parks at more than twice the size of the Walt Disney World Resort. There are 45 so-called mega projects and more than 200 smaller projects, which will be set across six different themed zones. Due to the extended development time, several projects have been announced and subsequently canceled, so it's difficult to know exactly what will be there when it's done. So far, some venues have already opened, including the Trump World Golf Club, and there are plans for a huge Sahara Kingdom theme park, one of the largest snow domes in the world, and a one and a half square mile retail venue. Currently, construction remains on hiatus, so Dubai Land has the potential to either become one of the most incredible destinations in the world, or one of the biggest failed construction projects ever attempted. Number 9. The Chuo Shinkansen Japan is known for its high-speed and virtually flawless transport network, but its development has been a continual process since it began in the 1970s, and the Chuo Shinkansen is the culmination of all the learning that's been acquired since then. The idea of maglev trains was first initiated in a joint project between Japan Airlines and Japanese National Railways, and this new line will be the fastest of all, connecting Tokyo and Nagoya by 2027, and further extending to Osaka by 2037. Reaching speeds of at least 314 miles per hour, trains will cover the 178 miles to Nagoya in just 40 minutes, and amazingly, around 90% of the route will be through specifically built tunnels. The entire track will be lined with the latest design of electromagnetic coils, and the trains are fitted with superconducting magnets that levitate them above the ground. This reduced friction means they can reach much higher speeds than conventional train designs. And while the power consumption is undoubtedly more, it's still less than the equivalent used by aircraft, and only uses electricity. Along with the opening of the line, it's believed a new model train will be introduced too. The latest design set a world record man speed of 375 miles per hour, and it's quite possible that the next iteration will be able to break the 400 mile per hour mark. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Jubail Industrial City, Saudi Arabia the city of Jubail in Saudi Arabia is home to the largest industrial city in the world, covering an area of almost 400 square miles and including industrial centers, a huge harbor, and port facilities to service the area. It's such a significant development that it contributes 7% of Saudi Arabia's total GDP, but they're not done with its development yet. Construction began in 1975 and it has been continually expanded ever since. Recently, the Jubail 2 project was announced, which will see the industrial city being expanded to twice its size in what's described as the world's largest civil engineering project. It will involve the addition of 50,000 residential units by 2026, a new six-lane highway, more than 530 miles of other roads, and 60 bridges, and that's just the beginning of the extra infrastructure required to make it possible. Two new ports will be built, 
one of which will have a 5.6 mile by 980 foot causeway, a four berth open sea tank terminal, and a dry bulk terminal with nine berths. It's a phenomenal undertaking. When it's complete, it'll not only be the focal hub of the region, but one of the most effective wealth generating regions on Earth. Number seven, London Crossrail. The building of a new underground line in a city may not at first seem like a mega construction project, but the Crossrail project in London is the biggest engineering project Europe has ever seen. It was first initiated in 2007, and while it was meant to have been finished quite some time ago, delays have meant that the best case scenario, it'll only be completed by the end of 2021. The 73 mile line will connect the west and east of the city, which includes, of course, a large stretch that's completely underground to connect with the tube network through central London. Amazingly, due to the difficulty with building these tunnels, the total project cost is estimated to come in at around $25 billion. But with revenues of the finish line expected to exceed a billion dollars per year, it'll take a relatively short period of time to make it economically viable. In honor of the Queen, the new route has been christened the Elizabeth Line, and is hoped the extra capacity it offers will alleviate pressure from other parts of the network and make public transport in London fit for the next few decades. Number six, the Great Man-Made River Project. Libya is a strategically placed country in Africa, but the residents have faced serious droughts because of its arid conditions, and these have severely limited how much the country can develop. In the 1950s, while searching for oil, researchers discovered a huge underground aquifer that contained vast amounts of water. So when the funds and technology were in place, one of the largest and longest running construction projects in the world's history began. The idea behind the Great Man-Made River Project is to deliver water to people where they need it from where the stores are, and to do so have involved the construction of the biggest irrigation network on the planet, with more than 1,750 miles of pipes and aqueducts, and 1,300 wells. Work began in 1983 and hasn't finished since, both because of the need for constant repairs from damage caused by the harsh environment and the need to expand the network as further communities become reliant on the water it provides. So far, four of the five planned stages have been completed, and the project has been hailed as a complete success, sometimes referred to as the Eighth World Wonder, earning Libya a UNESCO award for the scientific research required to provide so much water throughout a desert region. Number five, the Antarctic Infrastructure Modernization Program. Antarctica is the most hostile continent of all, but it's so important to scientific research that several countries have supported permanent bases on the ice for many decades. Most of the docks and general facilities were, however, built quite some time ago, and the Antarctic Infrastructure Modernization Program is currently underway to upgrade structures for the new vessels that are in development to operate in the area. In April of 2020, a new $50 million wharf was opened after 18 months of work to replace the old one in time to welcome the new British research ship. The RRS Sir David Attenborough and the main US base McMurdo Station is also continually building new structures and redeveloping to keep up to date. Projects here are much more difficult than anywhere else on Earth, and it's a testament to engineering techniques and the workers themselves that any of this is even possible. Number four the California High-Speed Rail Construction Project. The somewhat controversial California High-Speed Rail Construction Project was first agreed upon in 2008, but after an initial estimated cost of $33.6 billion, costs have significantly escalated. Plans were for it to be completed by now, but there have been such serious delays that not only have no passengers been able to travel on it, but only the central 171-mile stretch is still under construction, with all other elements on hold indefinitely. The current projected costs are somewhere between $63 and $100 billion, which will create a line between LA and San Francisco that should be open by 2033. Projects like these are quite often delayed, no matter where they are in the world. But the severe delays and gross overspend make the California High-Speed Rail Construction Project impressive for all the wrong reasons. Number three, the future circular collider. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Switzerland is the largest machine that humans have ever made, and was designed to investigate mysteries of the universe that physicists couldn't explain without building a huge tunnel network to smash atoms together in. It opened to huge fanfare and set off on its quest to discover the mythical Higgs boson particle, something it now has successfully done. While there are other experiments still taking place, the people responsible for the LHC have now put forward proposals for its replacement 
an even bigger machine known as the Future Circular Collider, which they hope will enter operation by 2035. Whereas the LHC is just under 17 miles long, the new collider will be a more than 62-mile loop, which will be able to accelerate particles to such speeds that researchers are hoping they'll be able to discover and prove the existence for even more subatomic particles. While construction hasn't begun yet, planning is underway for its position, should funding be granted. And if it does go ahead, this will be by far the largest, most complex, and most powerful thing we as a species have ever built. Number 2. Gran Stata de Casablanca Soccer is the most popular sport around the world, and with so many people devoted to watching games, the stadiums are often some of the largest structures to ever be built in a country. Morocco is one of Africa's leading football-loving nations, and as part of the country's attempts to host the World Cup, they're building an enormous stadium with a capacity of 93,000 spectators. Plans for the Gran Stata de Casablanca have been around for more than 15 years, but it took a long time for funding to be put in place, and even longer to actually build it because of how ambitious a project it is. Currently, the estimated completion date is 2025, at which point it will become one of the most impressive structures in the country, and undoubtedly one of the most stunning stadiums on Earth. Number 1. The Jeddah Tower Just like the 100-meter sprint is the main event of an athletics meet, the biggest construction record that countries chase after is the tallest building in the world. Currently, the honor is held by the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, but soon it could be the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. Intended to be the first kilometer-high building in the world, it was designed by Adrian Smith, who also drew up the plans for the Burj Khalifa, and construction began in April of 2013. By 2018, it was a third complete, but due to labor issues, work was paused, and it still hasn't resumed. There are concerns about where the funding has come from, with one of the investors now in jail. But despite this, the company responsible for it claims they are on track to resume construction at some point during 2020. When it's complete, though, the Jetta Tower will have 200 floors for office, hotel, residential, and tourist uses. It'll have 59 elevators, more than 2.5 million square feet of floor space. And at an estimated cost of just over $10 billion, it's now hoped it'll be open at some point towards the end of 2024. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.